The Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System Pan-STARRS-1, OBS. Code, F-51 and Pan-STARRS-2 OBS. Code, F-52 located at Haleakala Observatory, Hawaii, USA, consists of astronomical cameras, telescopes and a computing facility that is surveying the sky for moving or variable objects on a continual basis, and also producing accurate astrometry and photometry of already detected objects. Description The Pan-STARRS project is a collaboration between the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy, MIT Lincoln Laboratory, Maui High Performance Computing Center and Science Applications International Corporation. Telescope construction was funded by the U.S. Air Force. By detecting differences from previous observations of the same areas of the sky, Pan-STARRS is discovering a large number of new asteroids, comets, variable stars, supernovae and other celestial objects. Its primary mission is now to detect near-Earth objects that threaten impact events and it is expected to create a database of all objects visible from Hawaii three quarters of the entire sky down to apparent magnitude 24. Construction of Pan-STARRS was funded in large part by the United States Air Force through their research labs. Additional funding to complete Pan-STARRS-2 came from the NASA Near-Earth Object Observation Program. Most of the funding presently used to operate the Pan-STARRS telescopes comes from the NASA Near-Earth Object Observation Program. The Pan-STARRS NEO survey searches all the sky north of declination minus 47.5.The first Pan-STARRS telescope PS1 is located at the summit of Haleakala on Maui, Hawaii, and went online on December 6, 2008, under the administration of the University of Hawaii. PS1 began full-time science observations on May 13, 2010, and the PS1 science mission ran until March 2014. Operations were funded by the PS1 Science Consortium, PS1 SC, a consortium including the Max Planck Society in Germany, National Central University in Taiwan, Edinburgh, Durham and Queen's Belfast Universities in the UK, and Johns Hopkins and Harvard Universities in the United States and the Las Cumbres Observatory Global Telescope Network. Consortium observations for the All Sky as visible from Hawaii survey were completed in April 2014. Having completed PS1, the Pan-STARRS project is now focusing on building Pan-STARRS 2 PS2, for which first light was achieved in 2013, with full science operations scheduled for 2014 and then the full array of four telescopes, sometimes called PS4. Completing the array of four telescopes is estimated at a total cost of $100 million for the entire array. As of mid-2014, Pan-STARRS 2 was in the process of being commissioned. In the wake of substantial funding problems, no clear timeline existed for additional telescopes beyond the second. In March 2018, Pan-STARRS-2 was credited by the Minor Planet Center for the potentially hazardous Apollo asteroid 515767-2015 JA2, its first minor planet discovery made at Haleakala on 13 May 2015. Instruments. <inaudible> <inaudible> Pan-STARRS currently 2018 consists of two 1.8 m Ritchie Cradien telescopes located at Haleakala in Hawaii. The initial telescope, PS1, saw first light using a low-resolution camera in June 2006. The telescope has a 3 degrees field of view, which is extremely large for telescopes of this size, and is equipped with the largest digital camera ever built, recording almost 1.4 billion pixels per image. The focal plane has 60 separately mounted close-packed CCDs arranged in an 8x8 array. The corner positions are not populated, because the optics do not illuminate the corners. Each CCD device, called an orthogonal transfer array ODA, has 4,800 times 4,800 pixels, separated into 64 cells, each of 600 times 600 pixels. This gigapixel camera or GPC saw first light on August 22, 2007, imaging the Andromeda galaxy. After initial technical difficulties that were later mostly solved, PS1 began full operation on May 13, 2010. Nick Kaiser, principal investigator of the Pan-STARRS project, summed it up saying PS1 has been taking science quality data for six months, but now we are doing it dusk to dawn every night, quote, June 15, 2010. 
The PS1 images however remain slightly less sharp than initially planned, which significantly affects some scientific uses of the data. Each image requires about 2 GB of storage and exposure times will be 30 to 60 seconds good enough to record objects down to apparent magnitude 22, with an additional minute or so used for computer processing. Since images will be taken on a continuous basis, it is expected that 10 TB of data will be acquired by PS4 every night. Comparing against a database of known unvarying objects compiled from earlier observations will yield objects of interest, anything that has changed brightness and or position for any reason. As of June 30 tenths University of Hawaii in Honolulu received an $8.4 million contract modification under the PanSTARS multi-year program to develop and deploy a telescope data management system for the project. At this time, all funds have been committed FA 9451-06-2-0338-P0008. The very large field of view of the telescopes and the short exposure times enable approximately 6,000 square degrees of sky to be imaged every night. The entire sky is 4 pi steradians, or 4 pi times 180 pi squared approximately equals 41,253.0 square degrees, of which about 30,000 square degrees are visible from Hawaii, which means that the entire sky can be imaged in a period of 40 hours or about 10 hours per night on four days. Given the need to avoid times when the moon is bright, this means that an area equivalent to the entire sky will be surveyed four times a month, which is entirely unprecedented. By the end of its initial three-year mission in April 2014, PS1 had imaged the sky 12 times in each of five filters G, R, I, Z, Y. Science PAN-STARS is currently mostly funded by a grant from the NASA Near-Earth Object Observations Program. It therefore spends 90% of its observing time in dedicated searches for near-Earth objects. Systematically surveying the entire sky on a continuous basis is an unprecedented project and is expected to produce a dramatically larger number of discoveries of various types of celestial objects. For instance, the current leading asteroid discovery survey, the Mount Lemmon survey, reaches an apparent magnitude of 21.5 volts and concentrates its searches mostly near the ecliptic. Pan stars will go three magnitudes fainter and cover the entire sky visible from Hawaii. The ongoing survey will also complement the efforts to map the infrared sky by the NASA WISE Orbital Telescope, with the results of one survey complementing and extending the other. <laughs> <laughs> Military limitations According to Defense Industry Daily significant limitations were put on the PS1 survey to avoid recording sensitive objects. Streak detection software known as magic was used to censor pixels containing information about satellites in the image. Early versions of this software were immature, leaving a filling factor of 68% of the full field of view which figure includes gaps between the detectors, but by March 2010 this had improved to 76%, a small reduction from the approximately 80% available. At the end of 2011, the USAF completely eliminated the masking requirement for all images, past and future. Thus, with the exception of a few non-functioning OTA cells, the entire field of view can be used. Topic. Solar system In addition to the large number of expected discoveries in the asteroid belt, PAN-STARRS is expected to detect at least 100,000 Jupiter Trojans compared to 2,900 known as of N2008, at least 20,000 Kuiper Belt objects compared to 800 known as of mid-2005, thousands of Trojan asteroids of Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune currently eight Neptune Trojans are known, none for Saturn, and one for Uranus, and large numbers of centaurs and comets. Apart from dramatically adding to the number of known solar system objects, PAN-STARRS will remove or mitigate the observational bias inherent in many current surveys. For instance, among currently known objects there is a bias favoring low orbital inclination, and thus an object such as Makemake escaped detection until recently despite its bright apparent magnitude of 17, which is not much fainter than Pluto. Also, among currently known comets, there is a bias favoring those with short perihelion distances. Reducing the effects of this observational bias will enable a more complete picture of solar system dynamics. 
For instance, it is expected that the number of Jupiter trojans larger than 1 km may in fact roughly match the number of asteroid belt objects, although the currently known population of the latter is several orders of magnitude larger. Pan-STARRS data will elegantly complement the WISE infrared survey. WISE infrared images will permit an estimate of size for asteroids and trojan objects tracked over longer periods of time by Pan-STARRS. In 2017, Pan-STARRS detected the first known interstellar object, 1I, 2017 U1 Aumuamua, passing through the Solar System. During the formation of a planetary system, it is thought that a very large number of objects are ejected due to gravitational interactions with planets as many as 1013 such objects in the case of the solar system. Objects ejected from planetary systems of other stars might plausibly be throughout the Milky Way and some may pass through the solar system. Pan stars may detect collisions involving small asteroids. These are quite rare and none have yet been observed, but with a dramatic increase in the number of asteroids discovered it is expected from statistical considerations that some collision events may be observed. Beyond the Solar System It is expected that pan stars will discover an extremely large number of variable stars, including such stars in other nearby galaxies. In fact, this may lead to the discovery of hitherto unknown dwarf galaxies. In discovering a large number of Cepheid variables and eclipsing binary stars, it will help determine distances to nearby galaxies with greater precision. It is expected to discover a large number of type Ia supernovae in other galaxies, which are important in studying the effects of dark energy, and also optical afterglows of gamma-ray bursts. Because very young stars, such as T Tauri stars are usually variable, pan stars should discover a large number of these and improve our understanding of them. It is also expected that pan stars may discover a large number of extrasolar planets by observing their transits across their parent stars, as well as gravitational microlensing events. Pan stars will also measure proper motion and parallax and should thereby discover a large number of brown dwarfs and white dwarfs and other nearby faint objects, and it should be able to conduct a complete census of all stars within 100 parsecs of the Sun. Prior proper motion and parallax surveys often did not detect faint objects such as the recently discovered Teagarden star, which are too faint for projects such as Hipparchos. Also, by identifying stars with large parallax but very small proper motion for follow-up radial velocity measurements, pan stars may even be able to permit the detection of hypothetical nemesis-type objects if these actually exist. Topic. Discoveries. See also Large Synoptic Survey Telescope Topic Notes Topic References Topic External Links PS One Science Consortium Website the PAN-STARRS-1 Data Archive Home Page Project PAN-STARRS and the Outer Solar System New Telescope Will Hunt Dangerous Asteroids. NS-2006 World's Biggest Digital Camera to Join Asteroid Search Is There a Planet X? Early Warning of Dangerous Asteroids and Comets.